Indian occupied Jammu and Kashmir is being taken over by the Indian army as we speak. In this past week, we have seen a heightened level of repression in the Indian occupied Kashmir. There's been an additional troop deployment of 30,000 Indian troops on the ground. And this already adds to the existing 500,000 troops. Section 144 has been imposed in Jammu and Kashmir. We have to keep in mind that Kashmir is one of the world's most militarized regions. There has been an imposition of curfew. The Indian Army has physically taken over the schools and colleges and all businesses and public offices have been closed. There is a ban on public gatherings. Pro-freedom leaders have been detained. Elected representatives like Umar Abdullah and Mehbooba Mufti have been put under house arrest. They are not even separatists. Internet and communications are on a clampdown. Mobile internet services have been terminated in the state. Now even the landlines are down. And there is a long line for fuel, food and basic supplies. In addition to that, there are tensions and shellings across the line of control. What the Indian state has really created is a culture of fear, anxiety and uncertainty in Kashmir. What does the world's largest democracy plan to do in Kashmir right now? Kashmiris are fearing an imminent war and brutal repression. There is also a fear that Article 35 will be revoked, changing demographics and furthering central colonialism in the region. In the name of liberating Kashmir and uniting it with India, the Indian state is committing serious human rights violations in the state. Once again, it is visible that India doesn't care about the people of Kashmir, it just wants the land of Kashmir. What is happening in Jammu and Kashmir is a human rights emergency. What India is doing in Kashmir is beyond legal. This is barbarity and this is brutality. The world needs to stand up for the rights of Kashmiris. We are going red for Kashmir to bring global attention to the region. As Kashmir goes under communication blackout, it becomes your duty to amplify their voices. Red is the color of our blood. Red is the color of the blood of Kashmiris. Let's go red for Kashmir.